Here we go. Let's do one more. Hope you guys are all doing great. This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. Doing a little bit of painting here. Just for kicks, baby. Just for kicks. Let's do uno mas. Okay, uno mas. Here we go. Let's put a. There we go. We're gonna get started. A little bit. A little painting. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Try to do something. Something like this. A little bit of orange. A 
a little bit more red in there. Something like that. Let's see.
A little pensive, yeah. Nah, just uh, I don't. I don't think I have a. I'd have a. Um, I'm not feeling the energy that I normally feel. Being a little tired lately. Just a little bit. Probably need some. Need, need sleep or some rest or something. And my eyes. I think I. I didn't feel my eyes tired. Nothing really. Maybe all the painting, who knows? All that painting is getting to me. Catching on on me. <laughs> I like that. I recommend going to sleep <laughs> too. <laughs> Getting a good night, a good night's sleep. That's what I'm gonna recommend myself. Yeah. Pretty good, no? All the layering is fun to watch. Yeah, the, I think the layering is really. You're you're actually the first person that actually that has ever tell me that. So I'm I'm not tip my hat. I'm gonna take my hat. Uh, growing. Growing in grace daily. Wow, what a beautiful name. Yeah, uh, you're the first person that's ever said that to me in. Mm, 20 plus years that I painted no one ever talks about the layering it, it, it's what makes my paintings the layering and uh, most people think that it's just a couple of brush strokes and you're the first person who's ever mentioned that including including a lot of my students they, they tell me they tell me uh about the brush strokes. Everybody's so worried about the brush strokes, but it's not it's not the brush strokes, it's the layering. It's just because it's a la prima or wet on wet. People think that it's that it's uh there's very little going on, but there's a lot going on. It's just that I'm not I'm not waiting for it to dry to come back to it. So wow, I have to say wow. I have to say wow, thank you so much for that. You have quite, quite the eye to see that, because, like I said, even 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 uh, my students never mention the layering, and I try to explain to them that the layering is what makes the painting. Is, is what I tell them. Uh, Overbrushing is more important than underbrushing. Do you want me to? I, I think so. The lady that I'm talking about should not be saying that for me. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it.
it's not even like in, are you really in a kitchen that feels like in like hot air? You know, so we all even know the world. You cannot play that pinch air in that hot air. That pinch muscle or something that makes it so much more. How long has it been hurt? You have to come back to it. I think most people get sidetracked by the by the brush stroke itself. Most artists they romanticize the brush stroke and they forget about the layering. So that's why I thought it was so so interesting that you mentioned that. Because the brush stroke is my signature, but the layering is really what makes the painting. I, I was shooting for peaches, but they might be oranges. I don't know. Just about every every fruit that I make is like a mystery fruit. Just like my landscapes. Scott West says, uh, I've been uh, binge watching you from uh, your early videos you painted so fast back then yeah it was very very fast layering and sound arrangements yeah in music it's the same thing right it's the ledger the layering yeah yeah i was shooting for peaches but you know guys i have no idea um how the painting is going to end and so I think oranges would be too would be a lot brighter but maybe I don't know it could be a hybrid <laughs> with expressionism it's it's a little it's a little bit more difficult to, to, to pinpoint, to nail what's going on. So there's that one. Again, I'm going to offer this painting. All right, this painting is going to be uh, available. on. Uh, it's going to be available on eBay tonight. But it's also going to be available on Instagram as an as an auction prior to going to ebay this is something that i've been doing lately uh so the auction is going to start on instagram it's going to start in a little bit and the auction is going to start at around 200 dollars, somewhere around there and uh and nobody bids on it until 8 p.m okay if nobody bids on it from right now till 8 p.m., it's going to go on eBay. And then on eBay, the auction will start at $1. The difference, what's the difference? That on eBay, there's a lot more people that are going to be... Um, there's a lot more people that are going to be fighting for the auction. Lots more people than there is on Instagram. Uh, on, my, on my Instagram wall, is what I'm talking about. And so that's going to be the difference. 
uh, if somebody doesn't even want to do the whole auction thing, you can buy it from me. DM me and I'll sell it to you. It won't be gallery price. It's going to be a lot less. Oops, sorry about that sound. It's going to be a lot less than gallery price. Uh, but if you don't want to participate in the auctions. Now, I'll tell you this. On, on Instagram, the first auction that I'm going to run is... Uh, it's pretty likely that you're gonna win it because there's not there's not a whole lot of people, even though I even though I have I have somewhat of a following, there's not a whole lot of people bidding for the same thing. If that makes any sense. So, so there's a lot of there's a there's a huge chance that you if you win it on Instagram you're gonna win it. Uh, if you bid on it, uh, maybe one or two people most are going to bid on it but um how's it going marina but um but if you if you uh if you're like dude i don't want to i don't want to bid 200 dollars on this then then um uh, fighting is right <laughs> yeah yeah then you're gonna have to wait till it gets to to ebay okay so again the first auction is gonna be right now in a little bit it's gonna start on instagram it's gonna be on my wall. You can DM me, or you can you can type on the wall. You can place in the comments. Uh, the auction is gonna start around two hundred dollars. I think I'm starting this one's at two hundred dollars. Uh, this is a nine hundred dollar painting. Okay, this is in a, in a gallery setting. This is a nine hundred dollar painting easily. It's an eleven by fourteen inches. Um, I'm gonna start it at two hundred dollars. If nobody bids on it from here till 8 p.m. it's going to go on eBay and it's going to start at the dollar. The difference is that there's hundreds of people bidding on the same item. That's the difference. Right. So. So it, it might turn into a fight. More than likely. Let's do another one. I'm going to do another fruit one because I, I've been thinking about this fruit one. Fruit of a loom. Here we go, here we go. Oh, well, you know what, guys? I have to go set that one up. So I'll be back, okay? Excuse me for a little bit. I'm going to go set that auction up. And then uh, Instagram option. Yeah, there is an Instagram option for every painting that I'm doing. Uh, they run till, they'll run till, till 8 p.m. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll be back, my friends.